he's going to forsake you. If any man will come unto him and he's no wise, cast him out. Amen. I thank God I'm not saved by what I did. I'm saved on by what he did. Amen. I thank God when I'm standing on ain't promises I made. I'm standing on the promises he gave me. Amen. And I thank God this morning that I'm saved to the uttermost by what the Lord did for me. Amen. And when we sing this song, ain't you happy? He ain't never lost one of his own. Amen. Amen. If he's ever had you, he's still got you. Amen. And I thank God this morning I can't lose myself either. And he can't lose me. Amen. Amen. Now there are promises. Amen. Man promises you something. He might have. It might come through every now and then. Amen. God promises it always happens. Amen. 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 Now there ought not be another group of people in the world that sings like Christians sing. Amen. 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 I, I, mean, I mean, we ought to be loud. I don't care if you can't carry a tune in the bucket. You ought to sing like you're trying to get to heaven. Amen. 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 And get used to this atmosphere. Amen. 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 I know some of you sleepy. You went to bed too late. <laughs> Shake it off. Amen. Amen. If you've been born again, you have every reason yeah. to be wide awake. Amen. 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 All right, on that verse four, y'all ready? Standing on the promises of Christ the Lord, found in Him eternally, my love strong poured, overcoming daily with the Spirit's sword. Standing on the promises of Christ the Lord, standing, standing, standing on the promises of God my Savior, standing, standing. Adults, open your Bibles up to First John four. Man alive, what's seen? I like when I announce the children's choir. All them kids looked around. <laughs> they was excited. They came to church this morning. Yes, amen. 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 First John chapter four. We're continuing on the teaching of the love of the Lord. First John chapter four. Let them get parked back there. First John chapter four. I want you to take your attention down there. We're going to read verses one through four again, and we'll pick up the teaching in four. And then I want to kind of go on and talk to you a little bit. We're going to be breaking down this chapter, and a lot, a lot more. We're going to be. I'm just going to go ahead and warn you. We're going to be on the love for a while. Amen. 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 I, I don't know how long, but if it's any indication of what I've been putting down on paper, we're going to be doing this for a while. Amen. Uh, well, just give you the, a full sheet of paper. Uh, we got through the first four lines, uh, four verses last week. Amen. Okay, and that's just on what I thought we were going to finish last week. So I'm going to believe we get done with First John 4 today. So go ahead and get parked on love. Amen. 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 Y'all been want me to teach love and I love you and you know and love. You know, I love the sinner. Hey, y'all been wanting this, amen. So, hey, y'all smile and act like you want it, amen. And, and we just get right through. First John chapter 1, when you find verse 1, would y'all stand for the honor and word of God this morning? Boy, I'm excited to hear from Brother Jeffrey, ain't you? Amen. amen. I mean, I'll be excited them to get here. I can't wait to hear his family sing and I mean that. Y'all, verse 1. Amen. Amen. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out of the world. 
Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Every spirit that confesses not that Jesus has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, wherever you have heard that it should come, even now already it is in the world. Ye are of God, little yeah. children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you Amen. than he that is in the world. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, God, I do ask you to help me to teach and preach this morning. God, Lord, I'm thankful for the Sunday school, Lord. I'm so thankful, God, for all that you do. And God, Lord, we just ask you to put your hand upon all this today, Lord God, is. God, we are, are unworthy to come in here and worship you and to have you in our presence. But God, Lord, we do thank you, God, for all that you give to us. God, Lord, it, it amazes me, Lord, how that you've come down, Lord, the love that you do have to us. And Lord, we just ask you, God, now to bless this service, Lord, bless the remainder of the day. God, may, Lord, the lost people come in, Lord, and get saved. May the backslidden get right. And God, may the saint of God be filled up today, Lord. Lord, I love Sunday, your day, Lord. Bless it now, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen and amen you may be seated now verses one through four is a real quick uh, uh, a reminder of last week make sure my wind chimes ain't on amen amen but a real quick reminder of last week a review is it amazes me in this chapter that we associate so much with the love of God that in verses one through four he deals with an antichrist spirit. He deals with the things that are contrary to God. Right. When you hear that word antichrist, it means exactly what you're looking at. It means contrary or opposite of the Lord. Yeah. Now you understand, he said, them that confess not that Jesus Christ is coming to the flesh and has a spirit of antichrist. What that means is, is them that do not accept that the true Son of God, the Messiah, right. the Savior of the world, if they do not accept that he has already came into the world, then they have the spirit of antichrist. Yeah. The reason that being is because if he has not came in the world, he being the Christ, right. had not done what he done on Calvary, yeah. you and I have no hope yeah. this morning. Yeah, but I thank God this morning yeah. that I know that he has came down here. I thank God that he died on Calvary. I thank God they buried him. I thank God three days later he rose again. I don't need archaeological evidence this morning. I know because he saved my soul. Amen. And you understand now that's what makes us say. Right. Is that we've accepted the free gift that He gave us, Amen? Yeah. I mean, thank God that that gift is free. I didn't have to have to give anything. I didn't have to work for it. He came down and He gave willingly. Yeah. That you and I, all we had to do right. is believe, repent, confess, yeah. and when we did, we got born yeah. again yeah. from above, Amen. Yeah. And not in the power of man, not in the will of man, but yeah. in the power of God. And thank God this morning, I've got the Spirit of Christ, amen, yeah. and I've got the very salvation that he promised, and if anybody had rejects that, That's right. then they have the spirit of Antichrist. Right. They have the spirit of Antichrist. They have the opposite of what Christ gives is available. Salvation is free to everybody, but not everybody saved. Amen. Right. Amen. I mean, there is, are y'all all right this morning? There is a world of lost people. Amen. Amen. This is a narrow way. It's a straight way. Broad is the way that leads to the truth. And many be there at. At few's what finds this narrow way. Amen. Amen. But it, it, I want to lay this down this morning that the difference between us and the world is that we're saved. Amen. Amen. It ain't that we're better than them. Amen. It ain't that we've done something better than Amen. them. Amen. I thank God this morning that I am very aware that, I listen, you may not be that. I am very Amen. aware that my part is deserved hell, but by the grace of God, by the mercy of God, I'm saved by what he did on Calvary's cross. Yep. That's what separates me from the lost man. Amen. It is not a self-righteousness. No. It is not a self-accomplishment. Right. Yeah. It is not so well, he's a pastor. I know a lot of pastors that are probably going to split hell wide Amen. open. Amen. 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 And, and, and preachers, I know many that will split. Amen. Hell, well, I know church people right. have said in pews and have always said in pews, and they have not the Spirit of God. They, they are contrary. 
contrary to the things of God. See, it ain't about you and I's position. Amen. It's about where He did for us and what we accepted through Him. And if you don't get a hold of that, you're not going to be much on this love yeah. part of Amen. all that. Amen. See, if you don't realize you was a lost, damn little soul, yeah. that the Bible says that I was disobedient, I was a child Amen. of disobedience, and the wrath of God rest upon them. Yeah. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the yeah. Son shall not Amen. see life, but the wrath of God abideth Amen. on him. That Bible means that it stays on you, and it stays on you, and it stays on you. And when you and I forget what God delivered us from, Amen. and we ain't going to be much on the love department. Amen. Why? Because this is, I'm going to tell you something. Being an independent fundamental Baptist doesn't mean you've got to be a jerk. Amen. Amen. Are y'all all right? Yep. Amen. It doesn't mean you have to be a pompous, arrogant little something. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. I, I'm talking about, listen, what we're doing through these teachings is I want us to love like Christ would have us to love and anything contrary to what Christ would call love. That's right. Amen. Is anti. Amen. That's right. Christ. Amen. I, I was talking to a preacher last night and I told him early on in my ministry. I'm just being honest with y'all. Amen. There was probably more of the pit bull side of me than there was love and compassion inside. Amen. They, there was probably more. I mean, man, you know, listen, whenever, whenever God called me to be a pastor, I'm going to be honest with you, they did not have the playbooks for everything you deal with as a pastor. They, there is, a, you know, listen, I, I mean, I thought with the rumors of Eastern Kentucky and incest and all this other I thought that was just rumor and reputation. You know, nobody looks at you and says the first thing you're going to do with as a young pastor is, is an uncle and a niece. I mean, my goodness. That nobody ever tells you that you're going to go off to have a vacation in Florida. And one of the men that, that you know, gave you a long, fair speech about how much you believe, like, amen the most, God in the most, believe. Nobody tells you when you go off vacation for the first time in, in three or four years and while you're down there, that's going to be the jokers going to run around telling everybody that eternal salvation is damnable doctrine. Amen. Amen. Are y'all all right? Amen. It can create in you a hardened heart. Amen. It can create in you an unforgiveness. Amen. It can create in you a bitterness. Amen. But whenever you and I can remember, be reminded, Peter said it best like this, I'm going to stir you to remembrance. Amen. That as long as you and I can keep a fresh on our mind, Despite you and I, Amen. That's right. Christ ain't gave up on me. Right. Amen. Amen. Despite you and I, Christ was willing to die for us. Amen. Amen. Peradventure, some die for righteous man, right. but not for you and I. Amen. Because you and I know who you and I are at the end of the day. Right. You and I know what manner of man or woman we are Amen. at the end of the day. And can I tell you, even since salvation, it amazes me he don't throw us away. Amen. 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 And life is not going to have a man where, where you're going to just every day is going to be roses and everything's going to be straight line. But I'm going to tell you something, dear child of God. Listen to me. Listen to me this morning. I'd rather be right with God. Amen. I'd rather be walking right and doing right Amen. than to ever be put in the category of anti-Christ. I mean, this is easy teaching. The application is going to be where the problem comes in. Amen. Living this is where the issue right. is. I will tell you, I've been to a lot of good Bible-believing churches. I've been to places, and I'm sure you've been way more than that, that, that believes the way we believe. They have the right Bible. They got the right there. But I'll tell you, they was as mean oh, as yeah. junk yard right. dog. Right. They didn't have the love of the Lord. Yes, sir. They didn't have a, 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 the thing that, that God desires the most in us is to love like He loves. I, I don't want to keep going over uh, two weeks ago, but I'm going to tell you something. That teaching was imperative that you and I realize in the condition we were in that He still loved us fight Amen. ourselves. Amen. Now look down in your Bible in verse 5. We talked about a little bit on this last week. The they are of the world. Therefore they speak of the world and the world heareth them. 
The acceptance of the world is not the same acceptance of the Lord. Amen. And now I'm going to tell you something. Some of you have badly confused yourself on what love is. Amen. You believe that as long as you're treating them in a kind of manner, that you are showing them. Now listen, I'm not talking about being mean, but I'm saying some of you have went so far with this Amen. that you believe that you've got to participate in their sin to win them. Amen. Well, you have to hang out with them. Amen. You have to, because oh, now Brother Harvey says it. I mean, this is the number one thing. Right, but aren't we supposed to show the world love? Amen. To love somebody is to tell them the truth. Amen. Amen. To be a light, to be a salt, to do as Christ. And when Christ went to the woman at the well, he didn't say, Boy, I sure like you're shacked up and what this has fun and everything. And he looked there and said, Go get your husband. Amen. Amen. Her face was red as your sweater said, I ain't got me one. He said, Oh, you said, Well, you've had five. And the one he got now ain't even yours. Amen. Amen. I mean, man, he, he at least showed up at the well. He at least presented the living water. He presented what she needed. Are you all right this morning? And he gave her what she needed. But I'll tell you what he didn't do. He didn't go back to her house and tell her how good she was or how good intention she had or how her heart. Hey, he brought to her what she needed and he left her there for a decision. Amen. Now, thank God she got a drink of some living water. Amen. Thank God she heard from something that was not what she heard before. Yeah. Nope, and she looked at me. I mean, she heard things that affected her heart and it and is ultimately what saved her soul. And you and I are supposed to be that to the world. We're supposed to show them the love of what Christ did in us, but we are not to love them to where they don't see a difference between you and I. Amen. Thank you, Bibles of first John two. We might have had longer Sunday school. I ain't even got through the introduction yet. Amen. 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 We might start Sunday school like 7 a.m. and get it late. Amen. 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 Sure that I get to at least where I'm wanting to get to. Amen. Amen. I mean, we're at 1030, Brother Frank. I ain't even got past an introduction part yet. Amen. I got Bible everywhere we need to get into it. I ain't even got there. But I want you to look at First John 2. I want you to look at verse 15. Yeah. This is simple talking. We don't have to get out our double doctrine of theology to figure out what the Bible's saying here. Amen. They're of the world, so therefore the world understands it. Right. Amen. We ain't. Right. We're supposed to have the spiritual discernment of God inside of us. Now listen to me. If we go through all these teachings and get to you, it sounds like I'm talking Spanish. Amen. Amen. Right. I've been checking that salvation. Amen. Amen. This ain't hard. If you walk out there going, I wonder what he meant by all that. Amen. I wonder what he meant by all that. Then, then I would check whether I'm saved or not. I'm talking about this is where the confusion comes in. I'm going to cover two ditches. The first one I'm going to cover is that the world don't see their need because we don't show them a need. Yeah. Amen. Then I'm going to talk about that ditch where they wouldn't want to be near us because we think we were. We're God. Amen. Amen. And I'll cover that if we even get to it today. Amen. But I want you to first see this in your Bible. Look down there in your Bible. First John chapter 2. We're going to start right in verse 15. The Bible says, love not the world. Amen. This is now Brother Harvest, but we're supposed to love the people that's in the world. Look, look what we read together. Amen. Neither the things that are in the world. Amen. That's their music. Amen. That's their form of worship. Amen. That's their attitudes. Amen. Amen. Rude people ought to be lost people. Amen. Bitter people ought to be lost people. Amen. Mean people ought to be lost people. Y'all are right. These are things that are in the world. When the world acts like the world, you and I should not be astonished. Amen. 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 But we're not to love those things. We're to have no a desire for them things. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Love the world. The love that we've been preaching about for two weeks. You're missing it. 
You say, well, I'm saved, but I guarantee you don't feel loved most days. God can have no fellowship with sin. God can have no fellowship with those that choose to reject his word. God can have no fellowship. Amen. Amen. Good morning on a Sunday morning. Amen. I'm talking about having the love of God and demonstrating if any man love me, he'll keep my word. He'll love my law. I'm telling you, dear friend, listen to me. What hurts the love of us being able to demonstrate to the world is how much we love the world too much and it stops us from being able to love the cross. Right. That's right. It stops us from being able to demonstrate it right. They're going to hell. Amen. We ought to be the ones reaching and grabbing them and dragging them right out of hell. Amen. Amen. Well, most of us are the ones pushing them toward you. Amen. I picked you because you can't mess your hair up. <laughs> <laughs> love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Any man love the world, love the Father is not in him. In other words, it can do. You can't have something come out of you, daughter, if it ain't in you to begin with. Amen. I know saved people that claim to be saved meaner than junkyard dogs. And I'm going to tell you why. Because every Sunday they feel like I'm preaching about them. You know why? Because I am. I just didn't realize what I was doing it. Amen. When you get up talking about living wrong on Saturday, people start going. Amen. Did Brother Hart just follow me around? Are you kidding me? Amen. I got eight kids. I'm too far busy to have following you around. Because if I did, I'd flat some of you's tires. So I say, amen. 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 Stop you from doing what you ought not be doing. Amen. Look at verse 16. For all, underline that word all. Amen. For all that is in the world, the lusts of the flesh and the lusts of the eyes. And the pride of life is not of the Father, but is in the world. Listen to me. The world brings out the demonstration of what your flesh loves and not what the spiritual man loves. Amen. It'll draw what this desire. Right. You don't believe me? Go into a store sometime. I ain't listened to secular music in a long time. Amen. Amen. And I know some of y'all still trying to get over Waylon Jennings. Amen. But I've got the victory on that. I'm just going to be honest. Amen. Amen. Are y'all all right? Yeah. I've got the victory on that. It, it, I'm not going to say it's been far spent a long time, but I've really got victory over it. Amen. But if you walk into Walmart, Amen. everything they play yeah, tell us about is that. out of the 90s. Yep. It's when I grew up. Yep. I mean, I was a teenager in the 90s. Amen. Y'all don't know what that is. That's the big number before zero. <laughs> but, but growing up, and they have no new music. But I haven't listened to it. Brother John, I'm not kidding you. 13 years, probably. Amen. And something would come on. That's right. And I'd be over trying to find me some blackberry water. Amen. Yeah, buttermilk. Somebody say amen. amen. Yeah, y'all know you look for it on secret. Amen. I got half this church eating sardines. They won't tell nobody. Amen. amen. But I'm over. I'm doing. I'm just. I'm just in there to get what I need. And, and while I'm in there, I hear that song, and all of a sudden, I'm going. Yeah. And I'll stop and I'll say. Amen. Make sure no, you don't know what. Oh, what? What was that about? Amen. What was that about? That fleshly man, he remembers, brother. Amen. That fleshly man. That's why the Bible says that they wore. I, I mean, I won't get over to Galatians. Ain't got time this morning. We'll get over it next week. We're gonna be on this part for the next twenty years. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. But I'm telling you, over in Galatians, why it says that they wore one with another. Yeah. They're contrary to one or the other. Yeah. When you got saved, this thing, hey, the old man may have died and the new man revived, but guess what? You still got left in this body of faith. Yeah. That's why Paul said, who shall deliver me from this body of death? I mean, who's going to bring me from? Thank God the Lord saved my soul. And when I die, I'm going to drop this veil of flesh. I'm going to get a new body. I'm going to be changed in the moment of a twinkling eye. But while I'm here, if I don't start learning to separate from that, I'm never going to be able to demonstrate the love of God that I desire to demonstrate in the world. Amen. Wow. Look down in verse 17. I have a why for this. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. The Bible says that the hope of the wicked perisheth at death. Amen. 
There's a certainty of death. Amen. I tell you over Hebrews 9 27, here's a certainty of death. It's appointed unto man once right. to die. And after this, the judgment. Amen. There's a certainty of casualty that will happen to every man, woman, and child that's ever been born. There's a certainty to this. Amen. And it covers it. It says that the world passes away. And when death comes, no more opportunity. Amen. Now it's twofold. No more opportunity for you to demonstrate the love of God to any other of mankind. And there's no more opportunity for mankind to receive the love of the Lord Amen. than you and I are supposed to be in demonstration of. Amen. I wonder on that great white throne judgment, Revelation chapter 20. I'm not going to get past my introduction. We'll get on to the next part next week. Y'all forgive, forgive me. we got some good preaching coming up at 11. Amen. 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 But in that Revelation chapter 20, at that great white throne judgment, when they bring them up and, and all them that had the form of godliness but denied the power thereof, the ones that went to church and, right. and never felt conviction and never felt the real presence and the real love of God, because people like you and I didn't know how to separate from there to here right. Amen. and show them their need. Yep. Yep. Amen. How many of our family members? How many of our co workers? How many of our neighbors? Amen. On that day, he's going to look up, and when the world passes away and they die, the Bible says, which is the second day of Revelation 21, and it's hell. You going to love them then? You're going to be the light then? Amen. You're going to be the salt then? I Listen, Brother Frank, my heart's been broke for you all week. Amen. <coughs> you think it's easy to put a daughter away? Amen. And to say, I, I know that I was there the day you brought life and, and, and you came in and you breathed there and I loved you like I've loved nobody else, but, but at this time, a, a daddy's got to do what's right and I've got to love you more now than I've ever loved you and I've got to put you out from me. You know why he did that? He did not do that to scar her or to hate her. He did that to show real love of compassion of where her eternal soul is going to rest one day. Amen. That's the love. Amen. The love is not telling somebody how to wear their suit just right. You get somebody Amen. saved. When the inside changes, the outside will change with right. it. Amen. 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 I'd be very proud of you and your recognition of wrong when you come to me and say what you said to me. You said, I never knew. Amen. Amen. You don't know until you know, am I right? Amen. You get saved and everything's so exciting, you're not going to hell, amen. amen. You don't get to see everybody else that say somebody loved her enough to preach to her and tell her that heaven's sweet hell to be shunned. Yes. And she got born again and amen. keeps coming to church, keeps yeah. coming to church, and all of a sudden the Bible gets opened up. She's taught the perfect word of God in yeah. the illustration right. of the very doctrines that have been given down to us. I'm talking about, thank God, I have a manual that rests yeah. in my hand to live by. Amen. Heaven given, let me look at the perfect word of God. God, and it's a lamp and a light and it shines in our heart and it changes us. Amen. 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 But they can't have that. Amen. If we're so ashamed of it, we tuck it under our armpits. Right? Amen. Amen. Put it away in the coffee table. They're going to pass away one day, friend. Amen. They're going, to, they're going to be deceased one day. But they'll never die spiritually. And they'll either be in heaven or hell. And I'm going to tell you, according to Revelation 22, you and I have... Go over there real quick. I want you to see this. Go down there in verse 16. And I know applicably where we could be standing here on Revelation 22, but it's still good for 2022. Somebody say amen. amen. And I want you to look at this in verse 16. Talking about the love of God. Amen. What's well, hurting a lot of us is we want to do it our way amen. instead of God's way. We, we want God... To let us love how we want to love. Amen. 
I cannot be the husband I need to be if I don't let God direct me in how to love my wife. Right. That's right. Because of circumstances. Amen. Amen. But don't you married folk look nervous. <laughs> I'm just going to throw you under the bus right here. Maybe some days being married is not the loveliest thing in the world. <laughs> now, I didn't say my wife would. She's the loveliest thing in the world. Amen. Amen. But can I tell you, marriage, there's a reason over at Ephesians 5. He liked it. Amen. Because the toleration he's had for, the, for me. Yeah. Amen. Right. It's the same. My wife would amen right here, and I said she's had to tolerate about the same. Amen. I mean, I guarantee you, she don't get up every morning going, "I'm so happy I married to him." Amen. You know, I mean, he wakes up at five thirty six. I mean, he just, you know, I mean, I'm in there shaking the coffee pot. Everybody, amen. 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 I mean, I'm like this. Imagine living with this twenty four seven. When I get excited, I'm loud. When I get mad, I'm loud. Or somebody say, "Amen." I, I mean, just you know, I'm. I'm just he should have wake up every morning and say, Boy, I'm so happy that God <laughs> gave me that. <laughs> Amen, <brother>. Amen. <laughs> but now, when we learn to love the Lord's way, that's right. Amen. That's right. We can love them spite them more. That's right. Spite that's them right. days. But you'll never yeah. learn that if you don't learn how to love according. Right. right. Unless you learn to love as have the Lord would have us to love. And when you look at the world, the world, our desire for the world, I don't want the world to be calm. Amen. Amen. Can I tell you the best thing ever happened to me is that a Christian and a lot of love. Now, but now we got to have the love when we're doing this. You can't preach the way I do without loving people. Amen. Amen. It does not make logical sense that y'all come in here and I yell at y'all for an hour Amen. four times a week. Right. <laughs> you say, get yeah, right! You don't believe it? Let me come to your house. <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got my swag. You know, you were not receiving the same property. And we can demonstrate I can help you if you want, but I'm telling you it's not the same. Yeah. But, but, but for us to understand how to apply this is we've got to have the heart's Amen. desire of God to do so. <laughs> but I want you to see the responsibility here in Revelation chapter 22. Look down there about verse 16. Yeah, go to 16. <laughs> I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. He just gave you everything that he is right there. Amen. Amen. I mean, not, not everything, but you know what I mean? I mean, he's given enough deity Amen. right there. Amen. Enough authority and right. power. I mean, yes. we, I could preach on that verse forever. Amen. Amen. It's, it's loaded. Amen. Amen. But notice verse 17, what it says here. He says, and the Spirit, capital S, is talking about the Holy Ghost. Amen. By the way, we're going to be talking about this, but you can't be everybody's Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Yeah. In fact, most of you will turn off the people you're going to try to win by trying Amen. to be their conviction. That's right. right. Amen. Amen. I heard a preacher one time, I don't remember who said that. He said, if anybody ever came to my door and told me to put my beard down and to throw my cigar out, he said, when I did, I'd whoop them. Amen. And I thought to myself, man, the first one I heard, I thought, that don't sound right. But then your mind starts, you know, yeah, probably. Yeah. Amen. You come to my house. I mean, I mean look, y'all are saved. Y'all, I'm Amen. your pastor. Let me come to your house tomorrow morning and pick you and pick you to death at your house. Amen. Amen. I'll say I'm looking close. I ain't really going to do it. But I'm just saying, you know, think about that. Amen. Let me come to y'all and say, y'all, y'all's going to Sunday school crowd. Amen. Let me go to them in them phones. Amen. Amen. Don't pass out. It ain't really going to happen. I'm just trying to get your mind to it. <laughs> trying to get your heart right. Amen. But now verse 17, and the Spirit, capital S, and the bride Amen. say, come. Amen. There, there's a draw, and listen to me. He that went to souls is wise. Amen. But the first part of that verse says the fruit of the righteous is the tree of life. Amen. Our fruit, Matthew 7 20, by their fruit you shall know them. Right. The fruit that he's talking about, and I know there's a fruit of the Spirit in Galatians, and, I, and, and, that, and I'm, not, I'm, I'm not taking away from that, but the, the evident fruit Amen. is for Christians to produce other Christians. Amen. Amen. 
is for you and I to have people that, that have seen, heard, been, our love has been demonstrated and salvation has came not because you and I saved them but because we brought them to the one that can. Amen. See, that's what the, the, the witness comes from you and I. Amen. The drawing comes from the Holy Ghost to God. Right. Salvation through the blood yeah. by the acceptance of the Father. Amen. Hey. You take any of that combination that you ain't got salvation. Amen. 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 Are y'all all right? Now, I'm not coming on the deity, not on me and you. Right. But you take that out. You have no drawing, you have no blood, you, you have no acceptance, you have no salvation. That's right. But can I tell you what a responsibility this man. Amen. That yeah. he left you and I here. Amen. To be the demonstration of his love to a world that we're to be separated from. Amen. Well, you won't have to go through that introduction again. <laughs> That's Amen. all the time we got. We got through an introduction, so next week we'll actually get into more Bible. How's that Amen. sound? Amen. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, God, thank you for Sunday school this morning. Lord, I, I hope I said everything you wanted me to say, Lord. And, and God, Jesus, God, I thank you for getting me. Uh, God, Lord, up this morning, put air in my lungs. And Lord, I'm excited, God, Lord, to serve you this morning. Lord, I'm excited about what we're going to see in 11 o'clock hour. God, Lord, I ask you to bless Brother Jeffrey and them, Lord God, that, Lord, whatever they do, God, Lord, that it have a special anointing this morning, God, it'd be a special blessing on them, Lord. God, Lord, that you touch them, Lord. I'm so yes. thankful, God, that they have put away. Lord, I know they're busy. I know between the furniture business and just family life. And, uh, Lord, I know this morning there's a church missing a piano player. I know there'll be one to step in to do it, but, Lord, I'm thankful for the sacrifice of brethren, Lord God, as they come up to help us this morning. Lord, bless them now, God, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless the remainder of our day. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. Y'all got about 12 minutes. And we're going to.